Hello, in this demonstration, I am going to show you how to create a task sequence using the Microsoft Deployment Toolbox 2010. And the reason why you would want to create a task sequence is to provide additional configuration to your image as you deploy said image. So in this particular demonstration of creating a task sequence, I am specifically going to set up the hard drives to have a partition and get formatted with NTFS. So let's get started. I've got the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit already running inside of my virtual Windows 7 computer where the Deployment Toolkit is installed. And I am going to start by expanding my MDT Deployment Share and then going to task sequences. I'm going to right click on task sequences and select new task sequence. So the general settings page comes up and I need to specify some general information about my task sequence. So I'm going to assign a task sequence ID of one because this is the first task sequence. In the task sequence name I'm going to call this Windows 7 professional deployment because I'm going to use this task attached to a Windows 7 professional image and then I'll click on next. I now have the select template page and here I need to define which type of task sequence I'm going to be using and I'm going to leave standard client task sequence selected and click next. I now have the select OS page and on the select OS page I need to choose which operating system inside of my image I am going to be deploying and I would like to deploy Windows 7 Professional. I now have the specify product key page. I have choices on this page on how I want to manage my product keys. The default option is do not specify a product key at this time. If I leave this option selected, I will need to provide product keys later. The additional options I have for specifying a product key would be to specify a multiple activation key for activating this operating system, and then I provide the key here, or I can specify the product key for this operating system and provide the product key here. This is a demonstration, and I actually do not have a product key. So I am at going to leave the setting default, do not specify a product key at this time. So I'll click on next. I now have the OS settings page and on the OS settings page, I need to provide my name and my organization. I'll go ahead and leave my full name as is BK lab. It picked it up from the host operating system and the organization I'm representing today is Brickhouse Labs. So I'll go ahead and type that in. I don't have a web page to reference so I'll leave that blank and click next. I now have the admin password page. Here I need to define what the administrator password is for this task sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my admin password. I have the option of not specifying an administrator password at this time, but I'd like to preload the admin password and I'll click next. I now have a summary page which you can review that essentially outlines this is task sequence one. It's got the name of Windows 7 professional deployment. The template I'm using is client.xml which we didn't set that name. The Microsoft deployment workbench did for us. The operating system is Windows 7 Pro in Windows 7 x64 install at whim. The full name is BK Lab. My org name is Brickhouse Labs. I did not set a home page and I do have an admin password. So I'll click on next. So the task sequence was completed successfully and I'll click on finish. I have now added a task sequence. But I'm not done yet. I need to configure my task sequence to manage that physical disk and create a partition as well as format it with NTFS. So I now need to 
right click on the Windows 7 professional deployment task sequence that I just created. And then I'll click on properties to open up the task sequence properties. So I'm going to go to the actual task sequence tab and left click it. And then I want to scroll down and choose pre-install. And on pre-install, I want to select new computer only. And on the new computer only submenu, I would like to select format and partition disk. So I've got one volume here listed, OS disk primary. If I highlight it and click on the properties button, I now have some settings I can manage inside of the partition properties. I can change the partition name if I'd like. I'm going to leave OS disk alone as it's fine with me. The partition type is primary and for size I want to set this to 66 percent. I want to use a percentage of remaining free space specifically 66 percent. If I wanted to build a specific size I could check this box and mark my size here and I'm going to leave it checked to make it a boot partition and I want the NTFS file system and it's going to be a quick format. So I click on OK. I have now set the task sequence settings for pre-install of a new computer only to format and partition my disk. You may want to spend some time and look around at some of the other things that you can sequence to make your installations more customized to how you want them on the job. I've done enough for this demonstration so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. At this point you need to finalize your task sequences so I am going to right click on my MDT deployment share and I am going to update my deployment share. A wizard pops up which gives me some options. When updating the deployment share the latest tools will be copied to the deployment share. If any changes have been made to the boot image settings or to the content that needs to be included in the boot image those updates will also be made. If necessary you can choose to completely regenerate the boot images or to compress the existing boot. I'm going to go ahead and click next to leave the settings default optimize the boot image updating process. I now have a summary page and I'm going to go ahead and review them of course and click next. I now have a progress bar which is updating my image. This may take a little time so I'm going to fast forward and catch up with you when the progress is 100% complete. The process has completed successfully so I'm now going to click on finish and this completes the image update and task sequence portion of this demonstration. There's one additional thing you can do at this point in time if you'd like and that's to go ahead and open up your deployment share folder which is located at C and inside of deployment share there is a folder called boot. The deployment workbench has created and placed several different pre-installation environment boot files in this folder for me to use. Since I'm using 64-bit operating systems I want to find the x64 disk image file. So I've got a disk image file and here it is light touch PE underscore x64. I'd like to use this to deploy to a target virtual machine. So I'm going to right click on the PE file, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it on the host operating system which is the host to VMware player where my virtual lab is running. So I've pasted that to my host operating system. From this point in time I could also burn that ISO image into an actual DVD-ROM but because I'm using VMware player I can just attach that ISO file to a DVD-ROM and deploy an image. So this concludes my demonstration on how to set up a task sequence specifically to partition and format a target hard drive and then update the image and create the ISO file and copy the ISO file 
or burn the ISO file so you can use it later. Thanks for watching. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and I hope you enjoyed this video as well as future videos. Thank you.